So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to import and visualize the Google building footprint data using Google Earth Engine for Southeast Asia. So let's get started. So below we can able to visualize the Google footprint data which is indicated in the layer section with a different level of confidence starting from the confidence building confidence of greater than or equal to 0.75 and the building confidence between 0.7 to 0.75 and the building confidence between 0.65 to 0.7. So now let me explain about this data. So Google uh, building footprint data refers to the detailed and accurate digital representation of the outlines or the footprints of the building and structures located in various regions around the world. These data are typically created through a combination of satellite imagery, aerial photograph and advanced computer vision techniques. The Google through its Earth Engine platforms and other initiatives has, uh, has been actively involved in creating and providing an access to building footprint data. So here are some of the key characteristics and use of uh, Google uh, building footprint data. So high resolution, the Google uh, building footprint data often, uh, often comes in a high resolution format and allowing for precise identification and mapping of an individual buildings including their shape and size. The global coverage, the efforts to create the building footprint data extend to many parts of the world including the Southeast Asia making it uh, a valuable resource for the wide range of applications, the updated informations. These data are frequently updated to reflect the changes in the building structures due to the new construction, demolition or renovation. This ensures that the data remains current and accurate. Urban planning, the planners and the policy maker using the use the building footprint data to support the urban planning and development initiatives. It aids in identifying the areas with a high building density, potential area for expansion and infrastructure needs. And fifth is our emergency responses. During natural disasters or emergency, the building footprint data can be a crucial for the first responders and relief agencies. It helps in assessing the damage and locating the affected structures and planning the rescue efforts. The environmental monitoring the environmental researchers uses the building footprint data to study the land use changes and urban growth patterns which can have an environmental impact. This data assists in understanding how the city has evolved over time. The infrastructure structure development. A building footprint data is uh, vital for infrastructure planning such as uh, road construction, utility installations, transportation management. It aids in optimizing the routes and ensuring the efficient infrastructure development and the geospatial analysis. The geographic information system professionals and analysts uses a building footprint data for the wide range of geospatial analysis from calculating the population density to assessing the land values. In Southeast Asia as in other regions, the building footprint data can be particularly valuable due to the rapid urbanization and development occurring in many cities. These data can support sustainable urban planning, disaster management and various research projects aimed at improving the quality of life in urban areas. So now let me get back to our Earth Engine. So first let us import our Google footprint data into our Earth Engine. So to import our Google footprint data into Earth Engine, we defined a variable called t equals to double e dot feature collection Google research open building v3 polygons. So this particular code will insert our Google uh, building footprint data into our Earth Engine. So next, we are filtering the building confidence level. So we categorize the three different uh, confidence level based on the based on the building occurrence. We are defined as a confidence greater than or equal to 0.65 and the confidence lesser than or equal to 0.7 as one of the layer. And second, we set the condition called the confidence is greater than or equals to 0.7 and the confidence less than or equal less than 0.75. At last, we define the confidence level of zero greater than or equals to 0.75. So for that, we define three different variables. So variable t represents the confidence level of greater than or equal to 65, 0.65, and the confidence less than 0.75. We define equals to t dot filter confidence greater than or equals to 0.65 and the confidence less than or equal to 0.75. So the next variable defined a variable called t as 0.70 to 0.75 is equals to t dot filter. We are setting a confidence level of greater than or equals to 0.7 and the confidence less than or less than 0.75. So in third variable we are fixing 
a variable called t gte that is greater than 0.75 equals to we defined a variable like that for the confidence so equals to t dot filter the confidence greater than or equals to 0.75 so basically we are using the confidence data that is from our google uh, google uh, building footprint data we are setting three different confidence level for our building footprint data so next to add this layer to our map that is to our earth engine we define map dot add layer t 0.65 from 0.75 we define a color for this layer that is ff0000 and and output the layer as a building confidence of 0.65 to 0.7 and next we define another layer called map dot add layer t 0.70 to 0.75 with the color we have defined the color for this particular layer is ffff00 and output the layer name as the building confidence of 0.7 to 0.75 at last we we'll have we like to add another layer that is map dot add layer gt that is our uh, building footprint data t here refers to our building footprint data and greater than 0.75 is our confidence level and for that we define another set of color of 00 ff00 and output the layer and layer name as a confidence that is building confidence greater than or equal to 75 0.75 and last we are setting up our coordinates and the specific zoom level especially for southeast asia we are define map dot center set center we are define the latitude and the longitude and the zoom level of 5 and next we define map dot set option satellite so in order to visualize we are currently visualizing in our map view so in order to change to a satellite view we have uh, we defined as a map dot set option satellite so now let us run this code click this option called run script so this is a southeast uh, southeast asia so now we can visualize uh, one of the urban area in this part of the region so we can able to visualize here so this is one of the urban uh, urbanized area so currently our layer layers are being getting loaded with the building confidence level of 0.75 and building confidence of 0.7 to 0.75 and building confidence of 0.65 to 0.7 here the top for uh, top one the building confidence of greater than or equal to 0.75 are represented in green color let me show you that so let me zoom into this part of the study region so you can visualize here the lot of urban settlements being clearly observed in this part of the region so layers are being getting loaded so now you can able to visualize the three different uh, building confidence that is three different layers with a level of uh, building confidence are represented let me explain the first layer is of green layer that is our now you can able to clearly observe in this part of the region the all the settlements are clearly be digitized in this data so you can be able to visualize it more clearly here so all the buildings are been clearly digitized and it is available in this data of google uh, building footprint data so now say, let me turn on the second layer that is with the confidence level of 0.7 to 0.75 let me turn this layer on so you can able to visualize the yellow color it is a confidence level of from 0.7 to 0.75 and now let me turn on the last uh, layer that is the building confidence of 0.65 to 0.7 so now let me click this so now you can able to clearly view this uh, particular data so all the settlements have been clearly digitized in this data you can uh, able to view that so now let me go back to our application so this particular data has an updated information these data is frequently updated to reflect the changes in the building structures due to the new construction demolition renovation this ensures that the data remains current and accurate so this particular data will be updated every time in order to visualize the difference uh, changes in the uh, land use land use of the study region so now you can able to visualize it now 
so it is for available for all the all for all the settlements you can zoom into any part any part of the study region you can able to visualize it gets uh, already it gets digitized here so here you can able to visualize it so all the different uh, building signs gets digitized in this data and you can able to visualize it more clearly you can able to visualize it all the buildings are correctly marked here especially for this confidence level of uh, greater than or equal to 0.75 all the buildings being uh, correctly marked you can visualize it now So in this video I have shown you how to import and visualize the Google uh, building footprint data using our Earth Engine platform for Southeast Asia. So you can able to visualize it. So it is available for entire Southeast Asia. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.